Hello everybody and welcome back. We are playing Firewatch. This game just took a sinister turn. We found out that somebody has been spying on us by listening in on the radio all of our conversations with Delilah. And they were writing it down and taking notes, almost as if they were like studying us. Like a psychological study or something, but we definitely did not consent to any kind of study. So um, it's just incredibly invasive. Um, and when we were reading through their clipboard and we found a radio over here, um, the person must have been nearby and saw us snooping in on their um, on their study, and they uh, they knocked us out for a little bit, um, and they left us here. They they ran away, so we have no leads to find them other than Wapiti Station. We saw the word Wapiti written on the radio, so hopefully we should be able to get some more clues if we go to Wapiti Station. We've actually been to Wapiti Station before. We didn't think much of it when we visited. Um, Henry was a little bit paranoid, and I thought he was just being unnecessarily paranoid because he found, like, a chain-link fence in the road, and he was asking Delilah about it, and Delilah didn't know anything. But um, I figured, you know, stuff happens out in, the nat out in nature, you know, scientific studies, forestry and stuff, so who actually knows what the, the fence was? I didn't think much of it, but now, now that we know the person who's spying on us came from Wapiti Station, um, we got to figure out what's going on there. So... We're going to hike back up north. I think last time we came, we came from like down, out, around, and above. This time I'm going to see if we can go like directly north from here. So I'm going to try to see if we can find a route up to Cache 305. That seems just to be on like the north side of the lake. And uh, hopefully there'll be a trail straight to Wapiti Station from there. All right, let's get going to the north end of the lake. All right. Yeah, I honestly thought that, you know, that Henry was just being unnecessarily paranoid about the fence and that maybe this game was going to be about him coming to terms with his own, you know, mental health and paranoia, just, you know, kind of in parallel with his wife. But nope, turns out we actually were right to be suspicious of this station. Somebody actually is spying on us. So here we go. All right, let's see what's in here. We've got University of East Colorado sweatshirt. We've got a book, The Fourth Estate by Richard Sturgeon. Let's see what it says on the back. Neil Black thought he'd go, uh, thought a trip to California would do him good. He'd soak up some sun, drive a convertible, and maybe even enjoy a poolside drink with a tiny umbrella. Ooh, yeah, those are the best poolside drinks. But in Richard Sturgeon's fourth entry in the Neil Black series, California is nothing but a dream. An emergency landing after a murder in first class... Wow, okay. Um, sounds like good reading for another time. Uh, let's go ahead and copy some information down on our map and see if we have any new trails that we should be aware of. Um, turns out there is. Yeah, just like I thought. There would be a trail right up to Wapiti Station. Um, there's even a little like trail that kind of goes back, back down south, so maybe we can try that trail on our way back home. Um, and yeah. Let's uh, keep hiding on. Oh, I think we have to read this note first, too. All right, let's see what it says. Ah, this is a good old-fashioned, what was it, Ron and, like, Dave. Ron and Dave, yeah, the two park rangers. Ron, got some bad news back home, so hopefully they'll let me out of here for a while. Who's to say, though, budgets being what they are? Oops. Did you get my note about what, we, what went down at Wapiti? Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but I don't know. I probably overdid it. I wish he would have been there. Guess he must have got hung up. Dave. P.S. Amigos is Spanish and Professionalis is Italian. Uh, why? Oh, this is, must have been the uh, previous note uh, where he signed it. I want us to be Amigos Professionalis. <laughs> okay, great. So something went down at Wapiti, sta at Wapiti Station. Um, not sure what that is. Um, I guess we have to find out. Okay, we do not want to follow the river. We want to go east of the river. Okay, so this must be the river. It actually looks like a tiny little creek. And we want to be heading east of there. This is probably our path to follow right up here. I wonder if what happened with Ron and Dave at Wapiti that they're mentioning in the note is any way related to the person spying on us at Wapiti. Okay, before I go down this hill, I just want to make sure we're going the right direction. We are. Okay. Rope hook. 
and down we go. This looks like so much fun. I would love to hike in a place like this in real life. But apparently it took like over a day's hike just to get out here, so maybe it wouldn't be so fun just getting out here in the first place. It looks beautiful though. Ooh, look at this. Damaged tree, chopped down. <gasps> Did we get to get an ax? Oh, I bet you were gonna get an ax somewhere and then we can chop it down. Okay, I think we found Wapiti Station. Here's the fence. Okay, I'm at the fence. I don't see anyone around, but I'm not sure I can get past it. How big is it? Big, it goes off in both directions, acres. What the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but that's only a few square feet usually. That's not what this is. <sighs> we'll see what you can do to get past it. Looks like goddamn Area 51. Okay, that's Maybe a little exaggerated. Aliens. That'd be exciting. Yeah, we'll see about that. There's no, like, scary defenses or security cameras or anything like you would expect at Area 51. There's not even barbed wire on top. I'm sure it's mostly harmless, and what besides the guys spying on us. Unlocked. Pretty low, I'd imagine. Okay. Definitely okay. can't get in. Um, I've, I've given it the good college try. Uh, no dice. Good. Oh, loose shit. stone. But I, you, this I, will I don't be know helpful. how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Delilah? Hey, actually, Shut those up. guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned the line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. I bet you this is where we're going to get an axe from the firemen. Loose stone? We have to, we have to try this. Okay, the loose stone did not help. It says use rock. Wow, that got my hopes up for nothing. Okay, um, controlled burn south of Ruby River. Ruby River. Here's Ruby River. On the other side of the map? Oh my gosh. All the way down here? That is an incredibly long hike. Okay. Um, we're in for a little adventure today. Um, maybe there's a way to get over to Cache 308 and 307 today. Um, I guess we've got to just come back the way we came and cut across the Thunder Canyon. All right. Away we go. We've already seen this all before, so I hope you guys don't mind breaking immersion a little bit, but I'm going to turn on jogging mode so we can get there quickly. You know, it doesn't really make sense in a game like this to be jogging around everywhere, but seems like we've got a lot of walking to do, so I just wanted to get a head start. <laughs> Henry makes interesting sounds when climbing this. Um, okay. Thunder Canyon, here we come. Okay, I think we are gonna stick to known routes for now. Once we get back to the lookout tower, we should be able to plan our route down to this new area. This is cool music though. Um, for some reason it won't let me get down from this ledge. <laughs> I 
I think this Thunder Canyon might be my favorite area in the whole game. It's just so pretty with all the red rocks and the trees on the, on the cliffs and the tower in the background. Hey, I called around. Things seem normal with everyone else. Okay. Has anything strange been happening on your end? No, nothing really. Nothing really or nothing? Nothing. My door was open the other night, but that's not strange. That doesn't sound like nothing. It's nothing, I promise. All right, I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay, keep your radio close to you. Okay, about my radio. I think we want to continue straight on through Thunder Canyon. I don't think we actually need to go to the Two Forks Lookout. I think we can go straight on this way. Mm, or maybe we want to go up. I think I actually want to go up. Um, we're supposed to radio Delilah about my radio, and I just think I blew it. Blew it. Oops. Nope. Wow, that seems like quite the steep slope to climb. Come on, Henry, you can do it. You know, Henry and Delilah should, like, secretly agree to find a new frequency. I don't know how they would do that if they're communicating on the radio frequency that's currently being surveilled, but somehow they gotta, like, have a more secret method of communication. And I don't know how that would work. Because otherwise, they're just going to keep getting spied on, even now, when they're talking about getting spied on. The spies are listening. Ah, here we are. Thoroughfare lookout. We can see Delilah from here. Is she looking at our telescope? Hi, Delilah. Um, oh my gosh. We went the wrong way. That's fine. We'll just go, uh, over and around. Look at me. Wasting time. We already had a long hike ahead of us. I guess I just wanted to make it even longer. I'm enjoying this so much. Alright. This is untraversed terrain. We haven't put a rope hook here yet. Ugh. Here yet. All right, we'll go ahead and rappel down. I'm so excited to get an axe and chop that tree. I guarantee you, like 100%, that's what we're going to get to the fireman camp. And there's going to be an axe there. All right. Um, again, going the wrong direction. Okay, I need to pull out my compass. I should be heading west. And right now I'm heading east. Okay. Good thing I pulled out my map sooner rather than later. I'm just getting all kinds of lost today. Here we go. Hopefully this is the right way. Um, okay, I know where we are. This is the cave. This is the supply cache. I think we've already checked this one. Yes, we have. Okay, back into the cave. Turn on our flashlight. Did we miss anything in the cave? We did. It looks locked. Can I, um... Can I radio Delilah about this? I want to get in. I didn't even notice that the first time. That's cool. Maybe we'll get to go caving sometime. Or maybe that's just in there for more immersion. I don't know. I know we don't know what's going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. I don't like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. Why not? I was thinking about the good ones. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian, just how scared he would have been. 
Well, good thing it's happening to us and not the little kid. I'm sure he's fine, Delilah. I mean, don't you think if this started happening to them, he or his dad would have said something? I don't know, Ned. Maybe that's why they up and Ned left. Was a weird guy. No, nobody is that weird. The moment you hear someone in the bushes or get punched from the shadows, you're getting your boss on the phone. Yeah. Brian is fine. I hope so. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Calm down, Delilah. It's okay. Though, I, I guess it's... I still think it is possible that maybe that's why they left. Somebody was spying on them and they left. Something's going on at Wapiti Station. Like, Ron and Dave were talking about it and they must have left those notes, you know, a couple months ago. So this isn't anything new. The Flapjack Fire. Whoa, the Flapjack Fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not going to try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. Okay, looks like we've got to go just south of here as best as we can. We might have to go to the medicine wheel, but hopefully I think we can find a more direct route down south. Okay, um, compass, south. This way. All right, we are getting into uncharted territory. I don't think we've actually walked over this way before. Over towards the fire. Look at this. It must have been a big storm to knock this tree over and uproot it like that. I wonder if the you can see the glow of the flapjack fire at night still, like uh, the on the first night when we noticed it. Uh, it looks like there's a fork in the road here. Hmm. So we want to take the right fork. No, we want to take the left fork. Ah, some good adventure music. You know, I said earlier, I, I made a prediction that maybe I thought this game was going to be kind of about Henry dealing with, struggling with paranoia and having mental health issues just like his, um, just like his wife. And I, I kind of ruled that out at the beginning of the episode, but as I've been walking here, I think maybe there's actually a chance that's still the case. Maybe all this radio thing is in our head. Maybe we are actually just absolutely nuts. Um, let's go ahead and mark our map. But if that ends up being what the game is about, um, I'm all for it. I love a good story that kind of takes you by surprise. Lots of reading in here. More Ron and Dave. Ron, really wish the powers that be could issue wrist radios that didn't suck ass. Most of the time I'd prefer to keep things pen to paper, but every once in a while it'd be nice to get a hold of you right away. My sister keeps leaving me messages at the main office. But I don't think she gets that I took the job so that I wouldn't have to deal with her or mom. It's, I've been sitting at the spot for a while now, thinking about what to say to her, but I'm a quarter of the way through this bottle of... Fife's instead. Miss you, Dave. Wow, somebody has issues at home they want to run away from. Really, really big issues. Um, did we cross the river? We did. Okay, so we just need to go south and to the left. Okay. I want to go south and to the left. Find the firefighters and old scout can't pass controlled burn. I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. 
Okay. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Ugh, are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. It wasn't even a very good pun anyways. Is this the pond? Because that is a pathetic little pond. No, it looks like there's a bigger pond that we have yet to come to. Okay. This way. Oh, look at this stuff. <gasps> Did we get to go on a boat ride? No, that's a snowmobile. There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Whoa, someone stripped these snowmobiles down to the bone. Huh. I mean, that's weird, right? I mean, I can come up with a bunch of not weird reasons someone would do that out here, but given what's happened, yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, there's an Maybe old they're using it to build here, stuff at the station. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah, where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. Because Pork Pond is a great name. Oh, uh, because it's I love how this Pork game just Pond. reads my mind. It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den, or, you know, anywhere. Look at this. Camp Arapaho. Camp Arapaho. You're there? Yeah, I am. <sighs> it's been out there since the 50s. I was never really into the idea of the scouts. It's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. It never sat right with me. Beware of weebelos in large numbers. <laughs> Beware of anyone in large numbers. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Walk Good the ravine. Plan. Okay, probably this way. All right. Mm, I don't see any places to cross. Unless this is it. Oh, come on. I could totally make that jump. Climb up the rocks right there. <sighs> this game isn't as adventurous as me. I guess I'm too... I'm too, I'm too brave and adventurous for this game. Am I missing something? I must be missing something. He said I'm gonna walk the ravine and look for places to cross. I found a perfect place to cross. Just kind of like, sit down on your butt here, jump down, climb up the rocks. I mean, Henry took a fall from like three or four times that height and landed on his back and he was okay. I'm sure if we deliberately jumped, we would be just fine. Here's another place, or is that the same place that we were just at? Am I going crazy? He said, let's find some high ground. Maybe we we're supposed to be up here. Space bar, long drop down. No, why would... Why would Henry deliberately jump down here if he knows he can't get back? You know what? Whatever. Henry might have just sealed his own grave. Okay, we have a totem pole. We can go over that way. But I kind of want to go here to the main entrance. And just see where this trail goes. Camp Arapaho. Here we are. A scout's camp. You ever talked to any of the scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, don't make it weird. The forest, Henry. I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. What type of nerdy hobbies are we talking about with him? Like, a uh, marching band? Oh, no, 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 no. Like, comics, model rockets, wizards and wyverns, you know. Ugh. Hey, thanks to Brian, I can almost recall by memory the armor classes of most dragons. Wizards and what? wyverns. No, Sounds like off-brand D&D. Hey, planar dragons armor class. Let's see. Okay, no, I believe you. We're good. We're good. 
Wow. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. Well, no wonder they don't come out here anymore. This place is in complete disrepair. All right. I think we gotta move on from this camp. No firemen here, as promised, and disappointingly, no axe. And thus the scout camp is different than the fireman camp. Yeah, okay, these guys no. are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. <laughs> this is gonna be a fun thing to report. I found a little trowel. Maybe I should take it with me. Use it to pop open beers. Uh, well, come on, it's sitting right next to toilet sure paper. That's for burying poop. I am gonna leave it here. Henry, you walked right into that one. Even I saw that. It's right next to the thing of toilet paper. Come on. Memo. Hey, D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Did it say anything of note? Uh, I'll read it. Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would need someone to give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Okay, let me just pause this conversation. I want to read this myself first. Squad bros, Grant Carson. Uh, squad boss, Grant Carson. <laughs> squad bros, come on. What was I thinking? Wyoming interagency hot show crew... Uh, Paint Rock Danger District. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Ari, Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station, Thoroughfare Region. Squad Boss Carson, in the next few days, you and your team will be dropping into the Thoroughfare Region of the Shoshone National Forest to cut a fire line south of Ruby River. I'm writing on, I'm writing on behalf of Dr. Ben Simmons at Wapiti Station. He reached out to the superintendent with, the wildfire, with wildfire concerns about his research site. Upon your return from his office... Uh, will want to speak with you as part of a wildfire risk assessment of the region. I told them they have nothing to worry about and that your team's fire lines are the most potent per preventative measures in protecting their site, even though they'll be more than a mile away. But I think they've got insurance companies to answer to. Thanks as always for your service. Rich Slu S Slusarenko, Assistant Superintendent. Okay, so confirmed this is a research station. The guy behind it is Dr. Ben Simmons. Um, it doesn't seem like it's anything under the radar or sus, um, because it's like official, like they're talking to the forest service about it. So obviously someone is writing down our conversations and the writing down our conversations a can't be an that, official that, that we don't know about. What are investigation they in the research station. Oh, you know, probably just horned toads and a Wapiti station clipboard with our conversations on it is just. What, recreation for them? I'm just messing around. Somebody is obviously up to something. I'm freaking out here. At least we know there is something real happening behind that fence. I think that we should consider that maybe this is all just a coincidence, but my gut says that there is something bad going on. Mine too. Okay. So what's next? I'm going to do a scan for supplies and then figure out a way to get back over that ravine and hike towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and... Keep an eye out for anyone following you. I didn't get my axe. There's really no way past some of this underbrush that's grown over the trail. See, the thornier a trail is, the less inclined a ranger is to want to deal with it. They'll just hike or take their horse a different way. Okay. Um. Not exactly sure what to do next then. I thought we would get an axe to deal with, um. To deal with all these blocked trails and chopped trees that so obviously want to be cut down. But, uh... I haven't found anything. Not one single axe. I think I would have gotten strong enough to climb back up some of these drop-offs, but here I am. Stuck. Yeah, well, we've all got our limits, Henry. Chop down. Come on. Where's my axe? Did I miss it? All right, we're gonna go back to the, back to the camp. We're gonna take a real close look. Turn in off jogging mode. We're going slow mode, slow and careful. Old shelter. 
Okay, nothing here. Somebody put a bear trap in the old shelter. There are bear traps out here in the scout shelters. Scouts are stalwart prey. That's messed up. It is a little bit. 10 to 1. The gripping finale to crime by the numbers. Somebody really likes crime books. Hey, look at this. Missing person, Mitch Michaels. Uh, we've s have we seen one of these before? I think we did. The fact that there's no radioing it in tells me that we have seen that before. All right, what about in this one? Anything worth taking over here? No. Okay, no ax. Oh, here it is. I just completely missed it. Uh, I found an ax. If one of the crew left it, that thing is actually called a Pulaski. It oh. looks like an ax to me. Come on. This thing will be a huge help. I don't need your For technicalities here. Back country and getting through that fence. Yeah, I'm out of here. Yes, finally. Ha 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 ha. Henry wields the axe in a interesting manner. But I guess that works. If it gets the trail clear. Okay. Let's do it. Bam. How convenient that someone left a mostly chopped down tree right over here. All right. Well, this just got fun. Um, back to Wapiti Station. Oh, that's a long hike back. Okay, we're just gonna run on over. I don't think there's a fast way. Maybe let's go see what's over here west, over by Cottonwood Creek and Cache 308. While we're over here, we might not have another excuse to come back. So we'll just keep heading west. Okay, map away. West we go. Are you there? I, I had a thought. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. <laughs> Did you just cough? No. Did that was the person cough? listening to us? No. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Um, there isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Get in your tower, shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. Oh, we don't have to hike all the way over. Oh, we have a telephone line. So hopefully she can call us on the telephone line. Fair tower. This is and Chief then she Forks can give us a new radio frequency. The, oh, 50th time today. The flapjack fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? Uh, what? I didn't sleep a wink last night, and I've been going crazy for the past six hours of sunup. How are you so chipper? Well, it's a new day. What a day, this day we've been given. Maybe I am actually asleep right now. Maybe I didn't stay up all night knowing that someone is... I actually slept just great. Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, all right. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. All right. Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Sure. It's the, uh... No. You don't need to tell me. Just, um... 
Internalize it. it. It's a great tree. And there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, maybe I should go for a hike. Nothing like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell ya. Radio me the moment you get there. Alright. This is our plan to get off the radio frequency. We're just pretending like nothing's happening. Um, which tree am I supposed to Oh, come on. I didn't again? mean to do that. I already Top know. Top row, second from the left. Cottonwood. Head to a place named after that tree, and you'll have a wonderful afternoon. Um, before we go, why did... Why did Henry take off his wedding ring? We're still married. This is concerning to me. Come on. You should not have taken that off. I'm putting it back on. Um, okay. I'm gonna open the door. Going for a midday hike to Cottonwood something. Let's find another map. Jonesy Lake, Wapiti Meadow, Mule Point, Thoroughfare Basin, Beartooth Point, Two Forks Lookout, Ruby... Oh, it was right where we were trying to get to yesterday. We were so close. Okay, so all the way back down, but this time instead of going left over to the scout camp, we're going to go right to Cottonwood Creek. Maybe we can uh, go to Cash 308 as well. Um, okay. We have our plan. Okay, we'll put our map away. It's very smoky out today. All right, now which way is south? We have to remind ourselves. This way is south. Okay. Midday hike, Cottonwood Creek. Well, hopefully, when we get there, she'll have left us a note or something. Or maybe she even she will be waiting there for us. I don't know. But whatever it is, it's not going to be communicated on the radio. So it's going to be secret and known only to us. Unless our listener also has a floor of the Shoshone poster, which is possible. Maybe they've been in our tower. Bet you Delilah didn't think of that. Okay. We gotta cross the river, just like before. And this time, we wanna head west along the river, if I recall correctly. We do, but it looks like I have to get around this area first. I have to go south a little bit. Alright. South a little bit, and then west. What was that? Did you guys hear that rustle in the bushes? Somebody's out there watching us right now. Okay, I'm out of here. Bye-bye, creepy stalker. This is gorgeous. Did Delilah call this a midday hike? It looks like it's already evening. Or is this mid-morning? I don't think the sun is red in the mid-morning, but it has been known to be red when there's smoke in the air. I live in an area that gets lots of fires, so when it is really smoky out due to a you know nearby wildfire, the sun can look kind of blood blood red. Um, okay, let's see how close we are on our map. Oh, looks like we made it. We're at Cottonwood Creek, and actually, if we head north, um, there should be a cash box, a supply box. Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. Oh my gosh, Henry, you shouldn't have said it. Cash box there? Uh, must be around here somewhere. It is. Ah, Find it here and it open is. it. I changed the code. It's 5678. Are you kidding me? I was in a rush. Uh, okay, found the cash box. Great, open it. No, I don't need to ask that. Five, six... Seven, eight. All right, map, supply cache. Okay, we're getting some new information onto our map. Three blind rats and a new radio. Huh. 
I've got it now. Good. I spent all day getting you that radio. I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, <coughs> lied to another ranger, and hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Holy fuck, Henry. We have to get into that site. Why can't we just leave? Whatever these people are doing is illegal, right? Are you okay? I don't know, Henry. People have been listening to us all summer. How is this actually happening? I don't know. I, I'm, I'm scared. Yeah, let's go home. Instead of trying to deal with this ourselves, let's go home and report it to None the police. Of it makes any sense. Are there any other lookouts this is happening to? I saw the option for it. It's all in my head. On this? Anyone? <sighs> this is just happening to us. Everyone else is fine. Are you sure? Yes. I've tried to bring it up to Chimney Rock, Elk's Fork, and Beartooth Lookout. And they probably and all think she's gone crazy. One of them got confused. Asked me if I'm okay and if I need to be relieved. Oh my the gosh. The fucking state coordinator asked if I was just having lady troubles. So no. This isn't happening to anyone else and I'm done asking. Okay, that's fair. I just changed clothes laying on the floor because I don't know who could be watching. Look, I'm headed back to the gate and now that I've got an axe, we'll know something soon. You need to get into that site. Call me when you find something. Okay. We're on it, Delilah. You can trust us. We need to head north from here. Just north, all the way to Wapiti Meadow. But actually, I think this is probably a good stopping point for the episode. Uh, next episode, we're headed to Wapiti Meadow. To Wapiti Station, I should say. Um, and we're going to break in with our axe and find out what the hell is going on. Um, it seems like Delilah and Henry are not being taken seriously, so they've got to deal with this on their own. Um, I'm really excited to find out what happens. Um, I think this is becoming less and less likely that this is all in Henry's head because Delilah is also in on this, and we clearly both heard somebody listening in on the radio. So I no longer think this is all in our head. Somebody's actually listening to us, and we need to find out what's going on. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.